Hello and welcome to my online physics lesson. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to explain natural and artificial radioactivity. You should also be able to give the nuclear equations, balanced nuclear equations for natural radioactivity process and for artificial radioactivity process. Without any much ado, let's give it a start. For natural radioactivity, it occurs naturally without any human effort or interference. Okay, this is because for atoms that have more protons, great number of protons in their nuclei, th there exists strong repulsive force because we know that the protons have um, carry positive charge and because of that there is strong repulsive force between them and they need more neutron to keep them stable, to make them stable. Okay, and because of that, sometimes these atoms become unstable and begin to emit uh, certain substances such as alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. This process, since no human interference is involved at all, we call it natural radioactivity. And we have some examples here. Look at what it says. Natural radioactivity is the spontaneous decay. Decay means disintegration, breaking up, splitting apart, okay, of the nucleus of the atoms of an element of the nuclei, nuclei of the atoms of an element during which alpha particles or beta particles or gamma rays and energy definitely are released. Okay, here are some examples here. Yes, as an example, look at this. This is radium. Radium with a mass of 226 and atomic number of uh, 88. By atomic number of 88, we mean it has 88 protons in its nucleus. Every nucleus of a radium possesses 88 protons and you can see this is a great number and that makes it unstable. So it splits naturally to emit alpha particle which is a helium nucleus with a mass of 4 and atomic number of 2. Additionally, it will give us a new daughter element, radon, with a mass of 86 and uh, with an atomic number of 86 and a mass of 222. And as we explained in the previous video, for any radioactive process, energy is always released. So energy is released to the surrounding. Again, this is a uh, radon with a mass of 228 and um, uh, with a mass of 228 and atomic number of 86. Now it undergoes natural radioactivity and emits beta particle, two beta particles. You see that this two means you have two of these, okay? And then it will now yield um, radium nuclei. Each radium nucleus has a mass of 222 uh, and then uh, 88 as its um, atomic number. This is an isotope of uh, radium. You can see we have another isotope here with a mass 226. You see the same atomic number but different mass number here. And then you have uh, energy released to the surrounding. The third example we have here is for uranium 238, 238 uh, mass and then atomic number 92. It emits two alpha particles and then two beta particles, and then you have a daughter atom, um, thorium, with a mass of 230, an atomic number of 90, and again, energy is released. Maybe what we should add here is how these um, nuclear equations are balanced. You, the number, the mass numbers here must balance from each side. If you take the left-hand side, you have mass of 226, on the right hand side, the total mass should be equal to the total ma the mass you have here initially. So 4 plus 226 is 222 is 226 as before. And here you have 88, so if we add 2 to 86, it should give us the 88 back. Now, the second equation, if you look at it, we have 226 two, here, so the total mass we have here should be 226. Two, since we have 2 here, we should multiply the 2 by 0. 2 times 0 will give us 0 here, uh, 0 here, 
plus what we have here is two uh, two mm. uh, now I think what we have here uh, is two so that two times zero here will be zero plus um, plus uh, 22, 222 here will give us the 222 back. Now this is 86, so the total numbers under here should give us 86. 2 times minus 1 will be minus 2 added to the 88 here will have uh, 86 back. The third process, we have 286 here, so the total mass we have here should give us that. Now 2 times 4 is 8. And here 2 times 0 is 0, and then we have a mass of 230, so 8 added to 230 will be 230, a, which is equal to what we have on the left hand side. The numbers under, this is 92 here, so the total numbers here should give us 92. Again, uh, we have two alpha particles here, 2 times 2 is 4, plus uh, 2 times minus 1, this is minus 2, so everything will turn to minus 2, then plus 90 here. So 4 minus 2 will be 2, and then 2 plus 90, you have 92. This is all about natural radioactivity. It occurs spontaneously, naturally, without human effort or interference. Then sometimes, uh, radioactivity is, uh, 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 sometimes we can have atoms being irradiated, meaning exposed to radiation either intentionally or by accident, okay? When substances are irradiated by uh, attacking them with uh, fast moving particles such as alpha particles or neutrons, they can split the atom and make them unstable. And this is what we mean by artificial radioactivity. In artificial radioactivity, an ordinary material, not normally radioactive, it is, it is not radioactive normally, but it's made radioactive by bombarding it, meaning attacking it with fast moving particles, high energy particle. When you attack the, the, the elements, then you make it radioactive, okay? By bombarding it with radioactive particles. Examples here. We have alpha, this is alpha, the first example we have here is alpha particle, fast moving alpha particle uh, is used to bombard the atom of nitrogen, nitrogen 14, this isotope of uh, nitrogen is being attacked by string of alpha particles. Now, it yields fluorine atom, this uh, isotope of fluorine, fluorine 18, so if you add 4 to 14, you have 18 here, and you add 2 to 7, you get 9. Now, this one, this, this isotope so from is unstable, it's not stable at all. So it splits and give us the isotope of oxygen, which is oxygen 17, with a mass of 17, an atomic number of 8, and a proton, and then energy is released in the process. The second example here, we still have another alpha particle. This is alpha particle, helium nucleus, uh, is used to bombard an atom of beryllium with a mass of 9 and atomic number 4. Then this one yields carbon 12. Carbon 12. Uh, carbon with a mass of 12 and atomic number uh, 6. And then neutron is released plus energy released to the surrounding. Again, if you add 4 to 9, this will give you 13. So the total mass you have here is 13. On this side, it also be 13. You have 12 plus 1, 13. Here, 2 plus 4 is 6. So the total you have should be 6. 6, six plus 0 is, uh, is 6. So this is valid. Now the third one, neutron is used. You see that? Neutron. Fast moving neutron is used to attack lithium atom with a mass of 6 and atomic number of 3. When it is attacked, it splits and gives us this isotope of hydrogen deuterium, okay, plus alpha particle, and then energy is released to the surrounding. All these are artificial processes, man-made processes. They do not occur naturally, okay? And then four, and again, we have neutron is uh, used to attack uh, the, the nucleus of cobalt cobalt with a mass of 59 and uh, atomic number 27. This isotope 
when it is bombarded with neutron, it yields another isotope of cobalt, which is cobalt-60, and then energy is released in the process. Uh, fifthly, we have neutron again is used to bombard the atom of magnesium, this magnesium-24. When it is attacked, it yields sodium, you can see sodium uh, nuclei, proton and energy to the surrounding. So in any case, you have to check and see that the, 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 the masses and, the, and also the numbers under uh, balance. Here, 1 plus 59 will give you the 60, and then 0 plus 27 will give you 27, and here 1 plus 24 is 25, and that is what we have here, 24 plus 1, 25. The numbers under, this is 1, and this is 12, so 1 plus 12 is 12, and then 11 plus 1 is 12. So you have 12 on this side, you have 12 on this side, they are balanced. The, the isotopes that are found in artificial radioactivity are referred to as radioisotopes, such as this carbon-12 that is formed by bombarding a uh, beryllium atom with alpha particle, we have this. So this is a radioisotope. If you look at this one, cobalt, cobalt-60 was formed, it was made by bombarding cobalt-59, the normal cobalt-59 with a neutron. Okay, and you, you have this one. So this cobalt 60 is actually a radioisotope and on and on. These radioisotopes, they have so many applications and we summarize them here. Uses of radioisotopes, they are used uh, uh, as, uh, in radiotherapy in medicine. The use of ionizing radiotherapy is the use of ionizing radiation to kill and control cancer and malignant cells, the use of ionizing radiation to do that. We call that process radiotherapy. And then secondly, in industry, because we know that uh, uh, radioactive uh, substances, substances that are emitted in the process of radiation, uh, some of them they have high penetration ability. And because of that, they are used in industry to study defects in metals and welded joints. And then in uh, number three, they are used as radioactive tracers in agriculture. And then finally, in geological research, they are used for radio dating to date the rocks and other geological features. You can get their actual date. You can even date the earth itself and other materials in the universe. This is all we have for today. Thank you for watching.